In this first section, I wanted to talk about something I call the drumming tree. Now, the drumming tree is an analogy I created to help give drummers a visual demonstration of what they need to complete before they start moving on to other elements within their drumming. Now, at the beginning of this, I talked about how drummers, you know, will get us some information and then work on that, get some more information and work on that. And they're just kind of getting tons of information thrown at them. And what they're finding out is that they're really, really struggling and they're really hitting a ceiling and not progressing at all. And I firmly believe that is from not having a solid foundation. And you see this a lot in you know, drummers who are self-taught or drummers who had a poor teacher from the beginning. And they are out there, it's a shame, but there are poor teachers out there. And so what we're gonna kind of go through here is you know, what is located in the trunk of the tree? Okay, that's what we're gonna start with. Once you complete everything that's located in the trunk of the tree, that's when you can start growing branches. And you can say, okay, I want to learn you know, progressive rock here, and I want to you know, study jazz over here, and I want to study you know, odd times and beat displacement over here, and all that kind of stuff. But it's most important that before you do that, you complete everything in the trunk. So some of the things in the trunk are all the note values. It's absolutely crucial that you understand the note values and how they relate to each other, how every note value relates to the quarter note. It's crucial that you understand certain techniques like cross sticking, ghost notes, how to hit the cymbals, how to set up your drum set, um, just basic molar method, you know, with the motions and stuff like that. Then once you complete all this stuff, you're going to know, okay, I complete all that and I can move on to something else, and you're going in there with the right tools, you can actually you know, access that information and make the most of it. If you go in there with only you know, half of a foundation, you're gonna kind of grow this garbage looking branch, and it's not gonna turn out well. You're gonna wonder, like, why is this not easier? And so I think that's what's happening with a lot of people, um, is they will you know, really, really try to do something that they may be not ready to do. So in successful drumming, every section has a progress report. And these progress reports are going to tell you when you've completed a certain section. Because that's a huge problem nowadays, especially for self-learning drummers, is they don't know when they're ready to move on. And so let's say you took a lesson on quarter notes. You would have to play a certain amount of exercises at a certain tempo for a certain amount of time before you're ready to move on. And we're going to dictate that as we go through this product. So you'll know exactly what to do and exactly when to move on. So once you get to the end, you know, section one, the foundation, and section two, the techniques, these are all things located in the trunk of the tree. And once you get to the end of those two sections, you're ready to kind of move on and start exploring different areas. And you will see you can move anywhere. Now, one final thing I want to talk about before we get into the lessons is everyone learns at a different pace. Okay, so some of you, you might go through this in, you know, a day. Some of you might go through it in a year, and some of you might take a little bit longer, and that's totally fine. We all learn at different paces, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, if you are already a drummer and you bought this product, which I know that there are probably some of you out there, I still want you to go through all the foundational aspects and make sure you do the final progress report. So let's say you were working on quarter notes, which are probably easy for you. I still want you to play the exercises for the allotted amount of time until completion before moving on. Because you need to ensure that you have a solid foundation. And there might be all of a sudden something that kind of pops out of you. So with that said, let's jump into the next section where we're going to talk a little bit about how to set up our kit.